Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Capricorn and it will not resonate with every Capricorn cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested in that, click the red join button below. Personal readings are open. If you're interested in getting a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. All right. What is going on with my Capricorn collective for this week? What is in the collective energy? We have memories. So, yeah, that's like a nostalgic energy somebody's gonna be missing you or you're missing someone or someone's reminiscing on the past here healing though yeah healing this energy is here addiction single okay we have single and soulmate okay back in the deck we have new cycle oh you guys could have someone new coming in there could be one cycle ending and a new one about to begin or a fresh start in a connection. I definitely see that like there's something like someone's healing from the past. Someone's reminiscing on the past. They're healing from it. They're releasing it. Um, it could have been something that had to do with some type of destructive behaviors or a bad habit a toxic, um, something toxic that someone was having a hard time letting go of or an addiction, something like that. What is addiction? What is addiction? Okay, so, ooh, some of you guys um, kept encountering people that had bad intentions. Just saw two, three, four on the camera. Um but like maybe you guys had a bad habit of ignoring red flags and people. Tell me more. Addiction, bad intentions, twin flame, okay. And separation. Oh. So some of you guys are in separation from your twin flame. Your other half. You're in separation from them right now. You guys maybe felt like this like your your twin or your your person. Um wasn't good for you. You had to protect yourself from them. Maybe they were keeping secrets. They were not being honest with you. There were other um, red flags when it came to this person. Like something about this person was toxic or destructive. Maybe this person had some type of addiction or destructive beha behaviors that you had to protect yourself from because maybe this person wasn't wanting to evolve. So I definitely feel like you guys are like focusing on yourself and trying to heal. Um, there is like a soul connection here. Um, but I feel like you guys are in separation from this person right now. Um, but you guys may be feeling like it's still, you still feel the temptation to maybe reach out to this person or to maybe start engaging with this person again. Why is soulmate here? Oh, somebody feels like they're running out of time. What does this mean for Capricorn? Okay. So somebody does want to reconcile with you. This is somebody that was taking you for granted. Maybe you guys had to end things with this person because they were taking you for granted. And I honestly feel like you ending things with this person was the right move. I feel like it's actually, wow, guys. Yeah, something about you guys ending things with this person, the fact that you're no longer speaking to them is removing some type of blockages or it's manifesting love into your life. It's opening locked doors that you thought would never open for you or yeah, it, those doors are opening and someone is starting to awaken here or have some type of ascension, twin flame ascension. So it's actually like, Twin flame connections, they go into separation, okay? Sometimes they go, you you and your twin flame will go into separation, sometimes permanently, sometimes for a little while. Um, sometimes that is necessary for you to grow, for them to grow, for you to heal, for them, them to heal, for them to learn lessons, for you to learn lessons. 
it seems like this was one of those cases where you and this person did need to spend some time apart. This person was taking you for granted. Maybe this person needed to feel your absence because I feel like this person was not, they were ungrateful or they were not appreciating you like they should have, okay? This person does recognize that um, there is some type of soul connection between the two of you. I don't really think they are, maybe you're the more spiritually evolved one in this connection, right? So this, there's somebody in your energy that feels like they're, they know that they're on thin ice with you or they feel they maybe took too long to realize something about you. Like somebody is recognizing that this is not just any connection that maybe you guys do have some type, it's like something deeper about this connection. They do want you as a romantic partner. They do feel like you guys are good for you, like would be good together or something like that. But they may be realizing this too late or I see this person trying to rush in to reconcile with you like somebody is going to return so that's what this means for you that there is somebody that is going to return to you wanting to work things out with you that feels like there is unfinished business they will return with what intent i feel like you guys are reminiscing on like how you and this person had some really good times but you guys also had some really bad times and it's making you it's like it, it's bittersweet you know what i mean so um what does this mean tell me more about what this means for capricorn so we have opposites so yeah, you and this person did have some big differences or you guys could just be very different people, which that is very um, common in a twin flame type relationship. But I feel like for some reason you and this person were on the same page. It could have been like one of you was more in your heart space. The other person was more in their ego and those two things don't mesh. All right. Yeah. Somebody was running from this out of ego or someone was like wanting, to, like I said, somebody was not wanting to work on themselves and change um, they could have ran, they ran from you. They were running from themselves. They were running from this connection. They could have even like ignored you a lot, made you feel ignored, unseen. But the divine intervenes here. The divine is intervening. Yeah, there's divine timing at play when it comes to you and this person. Y your angels have their hand in this situation. The divine has their hand in this situation. Spirit wants you to believe in, they're saying believe in miracles. If you thought this person would never change or that there would never be any changes in this connection or you would never find your person, that's not true. It's just not been the right timing, okay? Patience is required um, or you're maybe not ready for this. Maybe spirit's preparing you for what's trying to come in or they're trying to prepare the person that they they have for you or meant for you. They're preparing them as well. Tell me more. Yes, what did I just say, guys? You're you're manifesting, manifesting. I can't even talk. <laughs> um, um, your, your wish is going to be granted. If you've been hoping and wishing for a dream partner or a dream person, you're going to have all that you ever wanted. And I just heard in more, okay? Your wish fulfillment is coming in. If you've been hoping for a partner that's loving and supportive to have a solid, build a solid foundation with someone, to have security and stability, that is coming in for you, okay? Um, yeah, it's like you had to cut off someone here or you had to cut somebody out of your life that was refusing to change and they were playing games. They were not making wise choices, they were not taking you seriously. They were being careless. And I feel like you had, when you, if you guys did cut this person off, you did it at the right time. Like, I feel like this person was never going to change or things would have gotten worse with this person, progressively worse. Um, if you haven't cut them off yet, Spirit is maybe, you know, urging you to do so um, because you deserve better. What else do they need to know about this? What else do they need to know? We have holding back. Okay. What's that mean for Capricorn? Okay, so beware. Tell me more about this. Apology. What do they need to know about this? Protection. Children. Boundaries. Okay, so yes. Okay, so they're warning you that if you haven't heard from this person yet, you're going to hear from them. This is somebody that's been holding back from you. They have a fear of intimacy. They have a fear of love All right, or falling in love. But they've been holding back from you. This is somebody that was wanting their independence. They were not ready for a commitment. They were wanting their freedom still. Um, this person is going to reach out to you. Okay. They're going to communicate something to you. Uh, they may even come in with the intent to want to try to mend things with you or try to rebuild something, confess something to you. But Spirit is saying that you need to have boundaries. So what they're trying to say, we have going in circles. So this is somebody that you've been through cycles with. This isn't, or if you let it, it will turn into a repeating cycle. This person is going, if you've already been through rounds with this person, Spirit is cautioning you. They're warning you that this person is going to come in and they're going to try to keep perpetuating this cycle with you. They're going to keep 
repeating this cycle, they're going to still try to avoid learning lessons or growing or changing. They're going to keep this situation in this like stagnant limbo, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Because it's like they want to protect something about this connection because they do recognize that there is something special about you in this connection. So this is not something that they want to just saw 10, 10 on the camera. They, um, they want to preserve this connection and they know that there's something special about you, but they also are trying to not change. They maybe need inner child healing or there's something here that they maybe want to tell you about their children, something they want to talk to you about children. This could be somebody you have children with. But what does children have to do with this? You're going to have to set boundaries. Ooh, sex. Uh-oh. Cursed. What does this have to do with Capricorn? Trapped. Ooh. All right, guys. So. Oh, my God. Pregnancy. Guys, be careful. Be careful with this person because. This person's going to try to, they don't, that's why bad intentions is here. This person wants to keep you where they, wow, guys, you're dealing with, I'm not saying that this is a horrible person. They are, they are being very resistant to change. This person's going to try to, there's a potential, there's potential for you to, if, if you're in, and you know, take it how it resonates, this, this part isn't going to be for all of you. This person's going to try to get you pregnant. All right. Or. They're going to try to like pull on your heartstrings with children. They may say like they want to have a family with you. They're, you're the person they want to have a child with one day. They want to, you you know, your kid, they want to build a family with you. Or there's, there's high, I see this person trying to get you pregnant. And spirit is warning you that if you, like that's why they're saying you have to have boundaries. This person's going to try to trap you. Yeah. And it's not going to be a good situation. They're not ready. They're not ready for a kid. They're not ready for to like, they're just not ready from this. They're trying to, they're going to try to keep you stuck. Okay, guys, I just see that here. They also are thinking of you sexually. They want to have sex. I really, so is this them trying to, what does children in pregnancy mean for Capricorn? Money is tight. New love. And okay, so yes, this is them trying to, they're going to try to give you false hope about some things. If it's not a pregnancy, they're going to try to make you feel bad about something about their children. They're going to try to use the children as a pawn or their children to make you feel guilty or feel bad for them. If it's not them trying to get you pregnant, although I do see that here for some of you. Um, they're going to try to give you false hope or they're coming towards you with selfish intentions. Okay. String you along. They're maybe going to tell you that they want to marry you, that they want to have a house, with, they want to have a home with you. Yeah. They want to marry you. Like, I don't know guys. So be careful. This person's going to do whatever they can to try to avoid change. Like they are being very stubborn. So what else does Capricorn need to know about this? What is what else does Capricorn need to know about this person in the situation right now? What else do they need to know? Yes, yeah, Spirit is saying that like they want to have like an unconventional relationship with you, or Spirit says you already know something about this person in the situation. And what is that? Or you're maybe maybe very mysterious at this time. Lessons. Yes, you know that this person's not ready. Or you've learned some type of lesson from this situation. It says love lessons learned, shift in perspective, raising your vibration. Tell me more about that. Options. Yeah. Difficult decision. Not budging. Yeah. You're going to have a difficult decision to make. I feel like, you know, spirit is urging you to focus on yourself. All right. Um, yeah. Focus on raising your vibration. This person is not going to be happy about this, but I feel like you're going to have a decision between this person and yourself. And I feel like spirit is telling you to choose yourself and they want you to stand your ground because this person is still not budging. What does this mean for this person? They feel like it's hard to stay away from you. They, they're they definitely like enamored when it comes to you. But yeah, spirit is saying you and this person are both not ready. 
which I already kind of said, like th there, there's separation here or there's, there needs to be a separation here because you and this person are not ready. Something needs healing mirroring each other. You both need healing. Tell me more. You guys are both kind of like, feel like it's hard to resist each other. Going in circles and forever changed. This, this repeating cycle is going to come to an end. There is going to be a change, but after a break, I'm telling you, there's going to be a break. You're going to have to cut this person off for right now. Take a risk. This may feel scary or risky to you to cut this person off, but yeah, it's like, tell me about forever changed and going in circles. This love is transforming. This, this cycle is going to end. There's going to be lasting changes. Proof, okay? Ooh. Healing. Yeah, what does this mean for Capricorn? Something is brewing. Mutual feelings. What's it mean for this person? Depression. Yeah, this person's about to learn some type of difficult lesson here because this person was refusing. Wow. So what's going to happen here, guys? I feel like this person, at some point, this person's going to come back and they're going to be changed, okay? Like this person that wasn't learning their lesson, that was, wasn't wanting to progress and grow, they're going to come back to around to you saying that they are ready to have something with you, that they do want to build a family with you. They do want to move things forward. They're going to be in a place to be able to move things forward after they heal. And I feel like you're going to not really be, you're going to be guarded. Yeah, there's this guarded energy here. Um, You're going to really, this person's really going to have to prove themselves to you, but yeah, it's like this person's on the verge. Like they've been really trying to fight this, but they're on the verge of have like surrendering. Like they're they're gonna not be able to fight this anymore because yeah, I do see an equal give and take in the future or compromise. Like you know, the, but it's like what's gonna happen is that this person is refusing to commit. They maybe think that their grass is greener on the other side. They want to continue to play the field, and that's not gonna work out for them. We have depression, prolonged grief hopelessness, pessimism. They're not going to be happy with their choice. They're going to feel very regretful for, you know, like they weren't seeing, like they, they're, yeah. It's like this person was lying to themselves. They're maybe trying to deny that they loved you. Talk about depression and player. Happiness and protection. What does this have to do with rivet? I feel like you guys are going to be happy. You're not talking to this person. They're going to be going through it. Okay. That's all I can see guys. They're going to be, and they're going to realize that no one compares to you, that you are the first person that they've ever truly loved, or you have loved, you really truly had love for them. Like, and they're going to be going through some financial issues as well. What does that mean for them? Yeah. Boundaries. So secrets. What about secrets? cut out yeah unlocking it's like spirit is guiding you to move away from this right now even though it's hard and you guys may not understand it right now but it's because this person things are one-sided and you deserve better than this this person is not going to be able to get over you but they're gonna they're not going to be doing well without you okay and i feel like that's what's going to force them to surrender to this because they're not going to be happy without you. I think they're going to see you happy without them. Um, yeah. You're going to get your wish. Your wish is coming in, but it's just not right now. We're going to take a deeper look at timing and all that stuff in the extended reading. You and this person both had destructive behaviors that needed to be dealt with, healed. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person is going to come in. You could be dealing with an, another Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. There will be a time where this person will be reliable, where they will commit to you. They will be more grounded and stable. They will, you know, like, they will put the right amount of effort and work into this. But it's just the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy. It's going to take some time. Yeah, four of wands. Yeah. This is headed towards marriage, family, union, stability, harmony. This is definitely twin flame energy. 11-11. Yeah, marriage. 
commitment, their reunion energy here. But it's just going to take a while because there's lessons that need. Yeah. Ten of Swords. Um, there, there, you know, this, let's see, the, the devil in reverse. Yeah. This had to come to an end and it was hard and it was difficult and it hurt, but it was because this situation was toxic or maybe somebody needed to free themselves from something else. Maybe you needed to take your power back as well from this person or this, or, you know, this situation. What's the Ten of Swords mean for Capricorn? The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like something is coming to an end so that something better can manifest here. Yeah, the Three of Cups, the Six of Wands. There will be a reunion here. Yeah, there will be a reunion. Why? But why the Ten of Swords for this connection? The Hermit. Yeah, there needed to be healing. Maybe you and this person have both been through some painful things that you still needed to heal from that have nothing to do with this connection. But there needed to be like this ending. So that there could be introspection, so there could be healing, so that there could be spiritual illumination, so that there could be some realizations. Spend some time alone. Virgo energy. Wow, guys, I'm telling you, Ten of Pentacles. And this is leading to something. It just is not the right time. Talking about the devil in reverse. The Ace of Wands, yep. There's going to be... What about the High Priest in reverse? Seven of Cups and the Four of Swords. Yeah, there will be a change. There's going to be change here. You, you've had a lack of hope and faith, but there will be change, sudden change. Somebody is very confused right now. But it's like there needed to be withdrawal. There needed to be time alone. Things are actually turning in your favor. Everything had to play out in a certain way. Yeah, there's going to be. Yeah, you're not going to be single for long. I'm telling you. There's a new beginning here. I'm telling you. There's You're not going to be single for long. Or if you think you'll never settle down and get married, I, you will. I'm telling you. All right, guys, so we're going to take this over to the extended reading. We're going to take a deeper look, um, get guidance, um, take a deeper look at this person's feelings and intentions, what's going on with them, timing. All of that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box. Or you can join my channel if you want access to all my extended readings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.